today, very hot, we are going to program a new key for this Mercedes A-Class 169. So what I'd like to do first after I've opened the CGI MB tool, um, read the data from the EIS. Now, something you are not, um, you don't, you don't have to do, but I like to do it, is always save the file. Even though here I'm sad that there's no password, but it's still important. Um, so now I'm just gonna save it in a way that I will remember. Um, almost done so one thing uh, just save the file as it is so don't have to edit the name of the file now let's go here to compute password collect data now we have this key not first generation key very old so we leave this little selected option and click OK now insert the key and click OK now put the key in the tool and click OK again so now at the bottom um, of the window you see that it's going it's charging once it gets to of course 100% it's done and it's something that usually takes like a minute or two but anyway super fast okay so now it's almost done put the key again into the ignition lock, click OK, and now wait for eight seconds. And during this um, this tap, you will hear, of course, the steering lock unlock. Now we put the key out and click OK. We put the key back again in and click OK once again. Pull out the key and count up to five seconds. So three, two one click OK again now we're almost done we insert one last time here in the tool and the calculation is done OK here save it as it is click save OK now we need to upload the data and I don't remember but I check um, the time so it's the one that was saved the last let's say open now it's connecting to the server already uploaded and now let's click to query result so now we have to wait depends of course on the queue but it's usually a matter of minutes sometimes even less and okay now it's already calculating We can actually take the original key out and we, we can already put the new key which will be program already there or just do it later whatever you want okay now password found so we can either click copy here or we can go into the IES and we see here that it's already there now we have to save it this you must do it so we click save it generate key file now we have to load the file we have just saved so we deselect 041 which is a smart key 
position well, let's click select all and we just select 051 which is the FBS3 key and just we need just one key so we select 4 and we click generate so now we're almost done we'll just wait a little bit long okay save the file all right so we go into read and write key we just click read key and chip to make sure the key is functional go here and select open write open file so now we are remembered how 41 format is for smart key but we have chosen 51 standard so let's click ok select the key and click and click open now it's loading the EEPROM file and now we have made it so now if we take the key we put it here we just wait for the key to be synchronized sometimes you just do turn ignition and you can hear that it's unlocking and locking the steering lock remote is working as well let's do one more test okay done super fast